In this video, we're talking about how it's possible to get a DUI the next morning after a hard night of drinking. Whether it's a party, whether it's a New Year's celebration, it is possible, just in terms of how your body processes alcohol, to be still above the legal limit, even though it's the next day and you've been to sleep and a lot of time has gone by. So in this video, we're gonna run through the numbers just so you can see an illustration of how this works. It's pretty boring. I'll try to run through it quickly just so you see the numbers, but this is how you get a DUI the next morning, even if you've been drinking eight hours or 12 hours before. So let's run through the numbers. So first and foremost, a person's body absorbs alcohol at a different rate than everybody else. A lot of it depends on your gender, a lot of it depends on your weight, a lot of it depends on how quickly you drink or how much you drink or how often you drink. But generally speaking, if you're a 180 pound male, you're going to absorb alcohol based on the, the, the serving of, of alcohol that you take, whether it's one serving of beer, one serving of wine, or one shot, it's gonna impact your body. It's gonna adjust your blood alcohol content by about a .02. Okay, if you weigh more than 180 and you're a male, that number is gonna be lower. If you weigh less than 180 and you're a male, that number is gonna be higher. If you're a female, those numbers are higher just in general, but the same principle applies. So if your body is absorbing alcohol at a rate of 0.02 per serving, and we're not talking about doubles, we're not talking about big drinks or anything like that, but just the regular standard definition of a serving for a 180 pound male, it's about a 0.02. So let's go through a hypothetical. Like, let's say that it's New Year's Eve and you go out drinking and it's 10 p.m. at night. You wanna start the night off slow, so you have a couple beers, two beers, would put you at a 0.04 BAC. Remember the legal limit is a 0.08. So two beers times 0.02 is a 0.04. You have one mixed drink, that puts you at a 0.06. Then the night starts to get a little bit wild. You say, I want some Long Island iced teas. If you know how those are made, they're very easy to go down, but they're about three servings of alcohol each and they make them generally pretty stiff. So the number may even be higher than that. But let's just say there's three servings and you have two of those. So two times three is gonna be six servings of alcohol times the 0.02 is gonna be a 0.12 plus the 0.06 that you've already had. It's gonna put you at a 0.18. So you're well above the legal limit now. New Year's Eve comes around, New Year's night, it's midnight, everybody's celebrating, everybody's buying shots, everybody's welcoming in the new year, and so people start rifling through shots. So let's say you have three shots over the course of the next couple hours, that's gonna put you at three shots at a .02, it's gonna put you at a total of a .024. So this is the super extreme DUI type of level. Now, you call the night quits, you've had enough, you've had a lot of fun, you don't go out drinking a whole lot, you, you're feeling very, very good, you decide to make a good decision and take an Uber home, you're done. The night's over, the next morning you wanna go home. So how does the body eliminate alcohol? So the generally accepted range of elimination, meaning your body processes it, it's not in your blood anymore, it doesn't apply towards the blood alcohol content, ranges from a .01 up to a 0.03. So a 0.03 is on the high end of things. This would be if you drink often, that may be your, your number may be closer to the 0.03, but let's say in this example, this is somebody who doesn't drink a whole lot, they just happen to have a wild night, so we're gonna put their number down towards the 0.01 or maybe a little higher than that. But the body is eliminating now 0.01 per hour. So we were at a 0.024, the body's gonna be eliminating it at 0.01 per hour. So we get home, the person gets home, they've been drinking for four hours, so we're gonna count this time. We're gonna give them credit for this time. They didn't drink all of this at one time in 10 minutes. They've been drinking it over the course of about four hours, from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. So we're gonna give them credit for that. We're gonna take the .01, we're gonna multiply it by four, and we're gonna eliminate the .04. So now, at 2 a.m., we're gonna say this person is home at a .20. So it's 2 a.m., they're sleeping, they sleep for a solid eight hours, they wake up, they have some breakfast. It's now 10 a.m., so eight hours have gone by. We're gonna take that eight hours times a point, uh, from the, times the point oh, point oh 0.01 elimination. We're gonna take the BAC, which is a 0 0.20, subtract the 0 0.08. That's gonna leave them at 10 a.m. with a blood alcohol content at a 0 0.12, which is still over the legal limit. As I said earlier, it's a 0 0.08 is the legal limit. So you can see here that this is something that does happen, especially on New Year's nights or big parties or big weddings or big celebrations, where somebody who doesn't drink a whole lot will get a lot of uh, kind of energy, a lot of enthusiasm, they're drinking, they're partying, 
They'll want to sleep it off. They may, they may feel okay. They may feel like they're hung over, but not necessarily intoxicated because they've been drinking for so long. So that they don't actually feel the effects of alcohol at 10 a.m. the next morning, but they are technically legally impaired. There are different things that can adjust these calculations. Like I said, the elimination rate may be higher. The number of serving, the, the, the actual absorption numbers may be higher. So somebody may uh, process alcohol more slowly or they may have a, a lower body weight or the servings may be considerably bigger than the 0.02. We see that a lot. People will think that they're just having one serving of alcohol, like a small glass of wine, when really it's kind of a double pour. And so you have to double that. It's not just one serving, it's a double. Now, when you run through this calculation, you can see here that that is clearly a DUI. An officer may stop an individual. They may suspect them of being under the influence or they may smell alcohol. Your body will uh, basically diffuse the alcohol smell through your, your breath and through your skin. And so if an officer smells that, they may pull you out of the car. Clearly you weren't drinking recently, but just due to the fact that you had so much alcohol and you didn't have enough time to dissipate it, the officer may pull you out and conduct a DUI investigation. That's how you get a DUI the next morning. Hopefully it doesn't happen to anybody, but if you have been charged with DUI, whether it's on the night of or the next morning, and you wanna speak with my team about how we can help you get through the situation with a minimal amount of damage, give us a call. We offer free case evaluations and look forward to speaking with you soon. Thanks for watching.